Now in this video, we'll talk about spanning tree, uplink fast and backbone fast features. Now these are typical legacy methods, no more used, but there are some uh, enhancements done by the Cisco to speed up the convergence time. Like uh, one, one was the port fast port. Now port fast is something done on the access ports where whichever the port is enabled with the port fast, it will bypass the listening and learning stages and transitions immediately into forwarding without listening, without learning. Now, apart from that, Cisco also added some of the other enhancements like in that one of the, uh, the other one is uplink fast here. Now, in case of uplink fast feature, now if you just take an example here, in my scenario, there are two, uh, assume that there is a switch A, B, C, and there is a blocking port here. Now, as for the default spanning tree, spanning tree will put the alternate port into blocking state. Now this is my alternate port and then there are two types of links here we need to understand and there is one link here this is my direct link now we call this as direct link direct link is the link which is on the same switch as a blocking port now this link if this link goes down now if this link goes down due to some reason let's say this link is down uh, by default uh, the spanning tree is going to converge in 30 seconds that's the default convergence time if the direct link fails now, whereas there is one more link called L1 here, this is my indirect link. Now, the indirect link is the one which is on a different switch uh, when compared with the blocking port. Now, the blocking port is on the switch C and your direct link is on either on the switch A or switch B on the opposite side. So, we call these two links as indirect link and the direct link based on the way they are, uh, they are on the, whether they are on the same switch or a different switch. If your blocking port and the main link if it is on the same switch we call them as direct link and if the blocking port and the and the main link is on a different switch we call it as indirect links now that let's let's try to understand the default spanning tree convergence as for the normal spanning tree convergence here if your direct link fails now if this direct link fails by default it is going to it goes through listening state for the 15 seconds and goes to learning state for the next 15 seconds before it actually transitions into forwarding now which means this blocking port comes to forwarding after 30 seconds in case if your direct link fails in case if your direct link goes down whereas in case if your indirect link fails let's say if this indirect link fails in that kind of scenarios it's going to take around 50 seconds of default convergence time so let's say if my indirect link fails indirect link goes down in that case it's going to uh, it, it will remain in the blocking state for the next 20 seconds expecting a BPD message from the root bridge but this side there is no BPD messages and it is going to wait for the maximum of 20 seconds and then the port goes into listening state and the learning state and after 15 15 seconds it will take around 50 seconds for the default convergence time so if you want to verify we can we can still verify this default behavior <coughs> by connecting some of the switches here now the default convergence time. Now as the Cisco has added some enhancement to this default uh, convergence. Now we can verify this default behavior of the spanning tree by adding some default connection here. So if you just try to observe here, in this scenario, uh, there is one port. So let, let us try to understand who is the root bridge here. In my scenario, there are some three switches, switch three, four and five. This is my switch three, uh, switch four and switch five. And in this scenario, this port is a blocking port. And then uh, as per the default uh, STP calculation, this bridge is a root bridge. I can see the message, this bridge is a root. So if you want to specifically change the root bridges, we can even change, but the default parameters, now this is a root bridge. Now, there are two types of links here. We have something called direct link. So I, I'm, I'll try to shut down this link and we'll try to verify the default convergence time on port number 21 on the right side. So let's go to switch on the switch three command line here. I got a show spanning tree here. When I say show spanning tree, port number 21 is in the blocking state. I'm going to shut down the port number 20. And then once I shut down port number 20, if I give show spanning tree, now I can see the port immediately transitions into listening state. And after some time it will go to learning state and then back to forwarding state. So let's give some time for the convergence. So listening, learning and forwarding. Now this is a default timer it's going to take. If any direct link fails, the alternate port immediately transitions into forwarding after 30 seconds. 
uh, it will not go through with the block the 20 seconds hold on time it's not going to wait for the time now the same thing if i verify the same thing let me make the interface back to up if you if you want to verify you can try to shut down this link any one of this link this link it will transitions into forwarding now this particular port will transitions into forwarding after 50 seconds of time now this is the default convergence time which uh, spanning tree is going to use and cisco added some enhancements to this default spanning tree here now the first enhancement was uplink fast now in case of uplink fast feature if your direct link fails due to some reason if the right link fails the alternate port transitions into forwarding immediately in the next second we can say immediately without without waiting for the listening and the learning stages so it, it transitions immediately into into forwarding in the next second and whereas a cisco added one more enhancement to this particular spanning tree behavior called backbone fast feature now if i enable backbone fast feature in those kind of scenarios what it is going to do is if, if any indirect link fails it's going to send some notification message to the remaining switches about the link status and based on that notification message that the device do not need to wait for uh, for the default downtime that is the hold down time and then it will it can immediately transitions into listening and learning stages which means it's going to take somewhere around 30 seconds of time rather than uh, using the default timer of 50 seconds now the indirect link fails the alternate port comes to forwarding around 30 seconds of time now these are the cisco proprietary enhancements to speed up the convergence time but in today's networks we don't use these two enhancements because uh, the ieee has come up with something called rapid spanning tree protocol and if you enable rapid spanning tree it's going to allow now there is something called rapid spanning tree protocol and if you're using a rapid spanning tree protocol it comes by default with a port fast feature and along with the uplink fast feature and then also it also includes some backbone fast feature automatically so we just need to change our normal spanning tree to rapid spanning tree protocol and which has the default uplink fast feature inbuilt in that and then the backbone fast but the timer is different it's not going to take 30 seconds it's going to immediately transitions into forwarding without much delay now that that's make uh, these two features are not really used in today's uh, production network scenarios and maybe the new iOS they don't support the exact command lines so if you want to enable the spanning tree uplink fast we just need to enable on on the switch it's going to enable for all the ports now we can verify somewhere here once you enable uplink fast when you show spanning tree you can verify here and this command is not allowed on the root bridges again and then because normally the root bridges will not have any alternate ports generally and then the spanning tree backbone feature and to enable the backbone fast we just need to go to the config mode and then we can enable by using a command called spanning tree backbone fast and you can verify it with a show spanning tree backbone fast now these are the specific command line which we uh, for, for configuring these features but if you are enabling with rapid spanning tree protocol uh, now this rapid spanning tree protocol by default comes with the uplink fast and the backbone fast features which is which is providing a rapid uh, faster convergence than a normal spanning tree behavior so we'll be talking about more on the spanning tree convergence how it's going to work the default synchronization process more in detail in our next sections.